Hello everyone and welcome back to not only this week's Sabbath School Nugget, but to a new lesson study. This quarter we're going to focus on what it means to live out God's mission for us as Christians and for us as a church. This week's lesson is entitled, God's Mission to Us. Our memory text for this week comes from Genesis 3 and 9. Then the Lord God called Adam and said to him, Where are you? Sabbath's lesson reminds me that it doesn't matter who you are, you were called by God to do something for God. Typically, when somebody asks you to do something for them, it generally means that what they're asking you for is your help with something that is both important and personal to them. Think about this for a moment. The King of kings and the Lord of lords, creator of heaven and earth, for whom nothing is impossible, is asking you to do something that is both important and personal to him. And he's asking you to help. Okay, so what is so important to God that he's asking us to help? Well, it goes back to the Garden of Eden. In the creation story, we see a God who creates human beings who are created intentionally in his image. This is important because what we know is that God created us to experience a personal and intimate relationship with him. Oh, please don't miss the point of Sabbath's lesson. The original mission was for human beings to experience a personal and intimate relationship with their creator. That was the mission then, and it is still the mission today. This is why we are called to follow Jesus, to abide in Jesus, and to abide in his love. God longs for us to be in a loving relationship with us. The entire story of the Bible is wrapped up in God's love for humanity. Now we come to Sunday's lesson, which reinforces just how much God longs for an authentic, loving relationship with his creation. Now, how do we know this? Because as the lesson points out, we were created with free will. And we've talked about this before. Love is not possible without free will. However, the risk that comes with free will is that people can use their free will to say no to God. And here's what we know. Our first parents used their free will to rebel and sin against God. This immediately created a separation between them and their creator. And God could instantly feel that separation. So how does God respond to the rejection of him? By sticking to his mission of fostering loving and personal relationships between himself and his creation. Only now the mission has become to restore that broken relationship. The mission was never to seek and destroy, but to seek and to save. To save those who were lost so that humanity could once again experience a loving relationship with their creator. Well, that was our nugget for today. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow.